This is the tutorial that shows you the layout of your input screen. You'll notice we have five buttons on the top. Input, Preparation, Labels, Reports, and Fabrication. The input screen is where we design all of our fittings and get to see a list of all the work or lot numbers we're working on currently. You will notice we are working under My Takeoff and we are in the input screen. Here we have created a couple different jobs. Now one of the things that's important to know is that the layout of the entire input screen can be adjusted. For example, the browser can be turned on and off. You can adjust the size of specific objects or the layout by just moving your mouse, holding down the left mouse button, and then dragging the lines to whatever your desired preferences are. Up top you'll notice we have three boxes. First we have a box here that lists straight duct down to catalog items. Essentially, we can have a variety of different items inside our particular job, especially if we'd like them all to nest together. It doesn't mean that we need to see all of them. For example, you will notice here as I have a hanger, which is a catalog items, if I uncheck it, all the catalog items will disappear from my input field. The same thing will happen with parts, or architecturals, fittings, or even the straight duct. If I would like to see everything, all I have to do is keep these boxes checked. You will notice that Practicam is keeping a constant record of how many were cut and labeled, how many were label only, or how many were ordered. The next box here is the use specifications. Every time one of these fittings or pieces of duct has a specification table that we use, we're going to mark it here. You will notice that my transition with two locks has a 4 inch water gauge specification table applied to it. You can see us tracking that 4 inch water gauge specification table right here. If I were to click on rectangular duct and add a specification table to this like uh, let's say 2 inch water gauge and burn this fitting, you will see now that we have two specification tables that are being used so Practicam is tracking them for us.